What's up guys, we're here to bring you guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington football nation. And as you can see, I am back home with the green screen, with the microphone audio, bringing you a better show than what was being at Liberty, not anything wrong with that, but all was my background was my bunk bed, so... So enjoy these two months of videos with green screen, not just Washington Station, I'll be getting back to doing music videos and other stuff that I'm working on. So um, hopefully I get a lot of stuff done in these next two months, it's going to keep me very busy. Also with my seven classes I'm taking right now, also keep me very busy. So you know, it's going to be a busy couple months, but I'm excited for it. I didn't come home to be lazy, I came home to work from home. So anyways, get to it. I didn't make a video Monday because I was still getting settled in, um, getting back home and getting some stuff taken care of. So. I didn't make a video, so this is going to be a two-parter. One is going to be a summary of the Bengals game. The second part is going to be a preview of the Cowboys game. So, first part, we beat the Bengals. Let's go. We beat them very well. I enjoyed the game. If you're a Washington fan, I know you enjoyed the game. 20-9, to, to I think, was the final score. Um, first and foremost, want to send out prayers to Joey Burrow. I know uh, he's going to be going through a lot of rehab and uh, uh stuff for the next couple months so let's just all send our thoughts and prayers for him uh he's gonna come back strong he's gonna ball out in the nfl and i'm fully fine saying that because we don't have to face him for another four years so but you know good thing about that i'm excited that um excited, excited for his future but I, i'm more excited that we won we won um we defense really came through at parts especially at the end they really came through. Offense was clicking. It took a while to get there, but once they got there, they were hitting strides. Terry McLaurin just proving that he is amazing. Cam Sims didn't have all the catches that he had in previous games, but he was still a key player this week. And Antonio Gibson, I mean, we keep bringing up this guy's name. And, you know, what can you say other than this guy's really good, and he's going to be the future running back of our franchise hopefully for the long future so I'm excited to see where he's going to go with our team and how he evolves because he's just getting started and I'm excited to see where he ends up in years to come it's going to be absolutely amazing what he's going to be able to do for us and for the NFL because he has made I mean how many times has he been nominated for rookie of the week this season I mean I think it's like a crap ton so I'm super excited that he is back to that he's going to be he is our back um, for the future, um, and Alex, comeback player of the year, it's confirmed. I know a lot of people want Ben Roethlisberger, but I think even them, a friend of mine who's a Steelers fan, said Ben deserves it. And then once Alex came out, he's like, you know, you know, I would love for Ben to get it, but Alex deserves it. Alex deserves it hands down. He's come back from an impossible injury. He should never be playing again, and he's starting football games, possibly going to lead us into the playoffs. You know, it's absolutely crazy. Um, but he played really well Sunday, had a really good passes. Um, only took like one sack, one or two maybe. Played very good. I was super excited to see him out there just balling as usual. And it was just, man, it was a fun game to watch. It was hard to watch because, I mean, it was competitive. And once Joe Burrow went down and kind of picked up speeds, and it kind of makes you wonder what would have happened had um, Joe not gone down. Gone down. Um, I say I'm happy he went down, but, you know, we need to get into the playoffs. Uh, I'm not saying anything about Joe Burrow. I'm saying more as the two teams in general. It may have helped us. Anyway, so it was a good game, good fight. Uh, finally seeing Steven Sims get some touches because he's been kind of quiet since he came back. Get a couple catches and, of course, a touchdown from Alex, which was awesome. His first, um, was that his first touchdown back? Not his first one, but his first touchdown and his first win. I mean, and Alex got his first win in the uniform that he got hurt in two years ago. It's absolutely amazing. It makes you almost want to tear up out of happiness for the guy. I'm super excited that he's back. And um, it's just it's amazing watching him go out there and ball. And uh, so that's how that game went. It went really well. Uh, defense kind of was slow to start. Defensive line um, kind of had a slow start but came through at the end. And um, here's another thing. You know, last week they were talking about crap, crap about Chase Young, and I said in my video, if you're thinking that he's a bust and you're not watching the film, and he missed that big hit on Joe Burrow when Joe Burrow ran for a first down. So when Joe Burrow ran for a touchdown, Chase Young knocked the crap out of him. This was not the one where it hurt, so I'm okay. So it's okay for me to gloat about this hit. But he came and just absolutely rocked Joe Burrow. Oh, it was so fun, so much fun to watch. And um, then 
So, yeah, 29. Good game. Enjoyed watching it. Now let's talk about this week. This game is for the top of the division, Washington versus Dallas. The three and seven teams fight to four wins and fight for the division. It's sad. It's really sad. And it's also sad that the Ravens have COVID and now we don't have a primetime game on Thanksgiving. Oh, COVID, 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 COVID. I hate you. I'm sure everyone else feels the same. So we all hate you. Go back. So anyway, this week, um, people saying we're going to upset the Cowboys. Last time I checked, we beat them a couple weeks ago. You didn't fact check me, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we beat them. Wasn't it like 27 to 3 or something like 25 to 3? I mean, wasn't it, wasn't it something like that? I, mean, I, I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know, but I, I, th I think that's what the case was. Last time I checked, that was the case. I think we won, so fact check me but I don't think it's really an upset I think more upset they beat us but it's not going to happen because we're going to beat them for a second time this season send them home hit the top of the division and take care of the Eagles who are 3-6-1 and one. and the only reason they had the top of the division is because they have a tie with the Cincinnati Bengals the other game where Joe Burrow got rocked Whew. anyway Exciting game going into Marty. He's coming off a win against the Vikings. We're coming off a win against the Bengals. I don't think either team has changed any much um, that much since last time we played. They got rid of a couple players. Uh, we've had a couple players come back. Uh, I think Alex is playing better than Kyle Allen was at the time. I think our defense is just the same as it was then. Um, and we beat them with that defense. And, you know, um, Andy Dalton is back. But, you know, we... He was playing the last time he got concussed and knocked out the game. So I'm not really worried about him because we were handling him in that moment too. I don't think they're going to win this week. I know we're playing on their turf, but it's due for us to win. They've beaten us so many times for Thanksgiving. The last time we beat them was when we had RG3 back in 2012. I think it's overdue that we take care of them on Thanksgiving, and this just seems like the year where we're going to do it. So if you're not hyped for this game tomorrow, I don't know what to tell you. It's Dallas week. Beat Dallas. This is the most excited I've been for a Dallas game in a long time. And it's just absolutely thrilling for um, hoping to see what the outcome's going to be. I'm so excited. Uh, I think Alex is going to ball out. I think Gibson's going to ball out. I think Terry's going to ball out. I really need Gibson to Terry because they're also a fantasy team. And they've really been helping the past couple weeks, even with wins or loss. They've really been helping. So, yeah. So, uh, hopefully they're going to be feasting on them Cowboys. Over there in AT&T Stadium. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a fun game. I think the game with Houston and um, Detroit tomorrow is also going to be fun to watch at 12.30. So make sure you're watching that. It's going to be a really fun game to sit around with the family with and watch. I'm so excited to watch this game. I think we're going to take care. I think Chase Young is really going to ball out. I think our whole defense is going to ball out. And our offense is just going to be hitting on cylinders. I love for Cam Sims and McLaurin to get a lot of touches tomorrow. And... Let's beat them like we did the first time. So, on that note, I hope you all have a great day. Make sure to stay safe to Thanksgiving. I uh, hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Eat all the turkey and food. Uh, that's prepared because, you know, it's turkey, why not? Uh, don't let COVID get in the way of your Thanksgiving um, celebration unless you can't help it. And there's actually like, big reasons why. Um, go ahead and have a good time with family and friends. I know I will. So thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. Make sure you go and watch my show, Washington Station, because it's really good. And I've got a lot more episodes coming forward. And this is what the show looks like, not in my bedroom at college. So make sure, I hope you have a great day. I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace.